Right guys, so we're now going to be talking about how to add macronutrients and calories to my fitness bar when you're out and about when you go to a restaurant. Now, there's going to be two, two types of restaurants you're going to go to. There's going to be the restaurants that are going to go, they're going to have their own calories on their website. Typically things like Wagamama's, Nando's, Peter Express, they're usually high street restaurants, now have their calories and macronutrients on their website, which is great because it makes our life so much easier. However, there's a lot of restaurants that still don't have that. And I think as time goes on, they will, but for now that doesn't happen. Now, let me break it down how I would use it to um, log my calories farm out and about. So I want to go to Nando's. So first of all, if I know in advance, I'm going to go to Nando's, I want to prepare in advance. So I stay within my calories. So if I'm going to Nando's later on today, and I have 2,400 calories to eat, I want to maybe be a little bit more careful during the day so that I can fit in my calories later on to stay within my goals. So immediately in the morning, if I know I'm going there, I can just go into my fitness bar straight away and log what I'm going to have later. So the first thing you're going to do is you go first go to go on the website of Nando's. And I know if you type in Nando's food into my fitness bar, a lot of stuff comes up because people over the years have added load and load of stuff. But I prefer to be safe than sorry, so I like to always double check and then I can add it myself onto my fitness pal. Now, you can add this as you add a, a meal or um, with a chocolate bar, sorry, the, a food. You can do the same thing with the stuff on, on Nando. So if you go to Nando regularly and you have the same things, you can just add it as we added the chocolate in the previous video. It's that simple. But say, for example, you're going to have something different. This is how I would do it. So first of all, what you do is you, you bring up uh, the Nando's website. So I've got the Nando's website on here now. So what I'll do is I'll go to the menu. So food, menu. And let's say, for example, I want to add when the internet decides to work. So I'll go down here and I want to add a greens green salad. Okay, so I'm going to click on that greens green salad. And it allows me to do it. Hello. Oh, no, no, here we are. So, you know what? Let's say we're going to have hummus with piri piri drizzle. So, you can see here, you got a little heart and you've got an uh, eye for information. Click on the little heart and then it's going to give you the options. So, if I click on that little heart like I just did, sorry, click on the eye, not the little heart. How old are you supposed to know what you're talking about? Uh, so, you click on the eye and it gives you nutrition, as you can see. So you can see on there, per serving, that's got 819 calories. Guys, that's hummus with pure pure drizzle. That's a starter. If you've got 1,200 calories to eat, you're pretty much done in a fucking starter. Yeah? So you, this is why it's important to lock calories, because you can quite easily go to, to Nando's, oh, I'm not going to lock calories today. It's just hummus. How many calories could it be? You have that, then you have chicken, then you have chips, then you have rice. You've come out of there and you've blown it. Yeah, so this is why it's important. So how do you log this? You can log it exactly as you did the chocolate. So you can add that in there as your food if you're going to have that regularly. But let's say I'm going to have that as a one-off. So how, I would do, how would I do that? So I'd go into my fitness pal. I would go and add food. So when I add food there, by looking there, I can see that the calories are 819. Now, if I'm just logging calories, I can just type in calories at the top. And you can put calories from anything. So calories from fat, right? So if I want to get 819 calories, I can go in there and type in, let's say 90, almost there, 92, 91. There we go. So 91 grams of fat is going to give me 819 calories. If I'm just logging calories, I'm just going to log that. That's it, 890 calories done. Now, if I want to be more accurate, and if it's me, I'm going to log that totally different. I'm going to log that per macronutrient. So I'm going to log protein. So I'm going to search food, search for protein, and you'll see a protein with a little tick come up, top one, and you'll see on there, gram, serving size one gram, number of servings. If you look on the, on the menu here, it'll say protein intake is 24.5. So you go here and you put 24.5. Then you go to fats. So the three macronutrients are going to be proteins, carbs, and fats. That's what's going to give you the calories overall. 
So you're going to type in fat, and again, you're going to have the same result, a little green top, the tick at the top, and fat is 31.9. So you put 31.9, you're going to add it. Then the last one to come is carbohydrates. So you're going to go carbohydrates, just type in carbs, there we are. And then we know carbs on here is 101.7. So I'm going to add that. And that should give me, well, give me 792 calories because fiber also has uh, some calories. So you can add fiber, but for me, that's perfectly, that's what I would do. So I just add the proteins, the carbs, and the, and, the, and the fats, and that gives me the calories for that meal. Now you can do that with anything on that menu, anything. But be aware, the guys, you can make this easy for yourselves if you're gonna have regularly, just like we did with the chocolate, add it as a meal and it's there forever. So you can type in Nando's Halloumi, and in your foods, next time you go to a Nando's Alumi, it's in there, you click it, add it, job done. You don't have to do this all the time. But this is the way, two ways you can do it. Add it as a food or add it per macronutrient and you can go as along, as long, along with that, with any meal, whether it's Wagamama's, whether it's Nando's, whichever restaurant you go to that has their macronutrients and their calories on their website, this is how you can do it. Either how we did the chocolate or per macronutrient. And that will add your calories on there and that's it, you're done. So the key point to this guy is try and manage this in advance. Try and prepare in advance if you're gonna go out to eat so that it fits in with your calories. Now, what do we do if the restaurant doesn't have calories? Now, I'll talk to you that on the next video.